hot. Yes. Humid. Yes. What else? <laughs> uh, that's about it, Jen. Back to you. All right. Uh, no, Thank you. I'll take it from here. You know, this time of year, we just kind yeah. of get into this pattern. It's very difficult for us to break it. Uh, there might be a little hope, perhaps, by the time we get to next weekend. But let's take a live look out to the big event across North Texas this weekend. Oh, this Texas DFW area always has a big event every weekend. But this one is IndyCar Racing DXS Technology 600. Later on this evening, 88 degrees at the track right now with a little bit of a south wind. Now, if you have noticed of late the temperatures warm of late, you are not to be surprised to hear that since May 1st, the average high is just over 90 degrees. The average for May 1st to June 8th at DFW is 84.1. I bring this to your attention because this is the hottest run of temperatures on record since May 1st to current date. So we are on our way to a really hot summer, it appears, because summer started this year in early May. But if you're heading out to the Motor Speedway, again, no surprise to hear it's going to be warm out on the track mid 90s. Make sure to hydrate, try to stay in the shade as much as you can. Take some breaks there. Mostly sunny day and a hot, humid day, but some fine racing out there. Now, temperatures at DFW right now 86 degrees with a feel like of 90. 87 at Love Field, a feel like there is 93. Fort Worth is sitting at 90 degrees and that feel like at 95. Hour by hour forecast today 95 will be the actual high temperature wise by 4 o'clock, maybe still by 6. Six o'clock. We'll have that south wind and the sunshine holding the temperatures up with that humidity as well. And the feel like temperatures will get into the upper 90s, near 100 degrees. The headlines talk to you about more of the same hot, humid weather as we talk about the week ahead and slim chances of rain are ahead. And we are watching the Gulf for perhaps a little relief here. Gulf moisture, meanwhile, will be pouring in. Now, this this indicates in the yellows and oranges here really high moisture content. I've ended it Tuesday and notice how it was just welling up in East Texas, close enough to us to talk about storm chances, especially in our eastern counties, and about a 10% chance of the DFW. So you're going to see these small storm chances starting tomorrow and running till Tuesday, but they will be mostly going to these thunderstorms in our eastern counties. Otherwise, we're just talking about the heat. 95 day hot and humid. The storm chances today are pretty much non existent, under 5%. But tomorrow morning, we'll wake up with these temperatures pretty much in the mid 70s, like they've been of late. And then as we get into the afternoon, we'll go from mid 70s right back up into the mid 90s, maybe even a degree warmer. We're talking about rain chances tomorrow, mostly to the east and southeast, where you see from Anderson County and Henderson County. They, they much, have a much better chance of a pop up thunderstorms than, say, either Tarrant County or Dallas County, which we'll talk about a 10% chance. We're going to be very hot in the week ahead. And I say more of the same. Yeah, temperatures may be even climbing up a few degrees by the time we get to Wednesday, about 98. Those are the records, by the way. So we're not talking about record highs. We're talking about just hot weather. Now, the relief that comes in for us in the month of June usually come out of the Gulf. One model, and I mean just one, the GFX is showing a slight chance for some tropical development in the Gulf. That could kick up enough moisture around here to give us some rain chances. That's a big maybe because not many, many of the other models are suggesting that. But you can see how we're in the upper 90s all the way into Friday with small storm chances, kind of Monday, Tuesday, then again Friday.